Mary Latino here with some tips for decalcifying a bone core specimen. As you can see, they're typically cylindrically shaped like this one because they're taken from a bone marrow using a needle. Be sure and give it a good rinse under running water for five to 10 minutes. After that, it's ready for decalcification. So start by pouring your decalcifying solution into a beaker. I use ImmunoCal from Decal for bone cores. In addition to having these little cube containers that are easy to pour, it's a very mild formic acid decalcifier. A bone core specimen is one of those instances when you want to use a gentle decalcifying solution, not necessarily a stronger or faster one. Because if you don't, you can end up with slides that look like this, where all the immunohistochemical markers you're testing for have been destroyed. Our lab stocks three different decalcification solutions from Decal, so we can always choose the right one based on the type of tissue or bone to be sectioned, type of staining to be performed, and how quickly it needs to be done. You may need to experiment with different decalcification products to determine what's best for your laboratory. Your staining and processing procedures are specific for your lab and your decalcification methods should be as well. So now I'm going to put the specimen into ImmunoCal. I use a magnetic stirrer with a bar that constantly spins. It keeps the solution moving so more ions make contact with the specimen, which speeds up the process. I tend to let bone cores stir for about 30 minutes and then I test them. If it's soft to the touch and you can bend it, it's done. If there are still hard parts, put it back in the decalcification solution for another 15 minutes. Keep doing 15 minute increments until it's ready. I keep a timer with me because I never want to over decalcify the tissue and ruin it. Remember, there's always a patient behind the tissue. So be careful, and as soon as your bone core is ready, rinse it again in running water for five to 10 minutes. Then put it back in the fixative until you're ready for tissue processing and staining. Those steps take hours and hours, so you want to make sure you've decalcified properly. If you overdo it or use a harsh solution, your slides will come out murky. If you do it right, you'll get crisp nuclear detail. Your slides will be beautiful and your pathologist will love you for it.